The redwoods have been around for millions of years, and one time, long ago, they covered two-thirds of the northern hemisphere. They were even home to a mighty dinosaur we call Trianosaurus rex. Imagine that. There were just so many redwoods once that it makes you wonder what happened to them all. Theories abound over celestial objects being the cause of the redwoods demise, amongst other things. No matter, today there's about two million acres of these trees growing in a narrow band on the California coast. And with the exception of fossil records, if it wasn't for these trees today, we would never know what a redwood forest really looked like. The redwood favors the coastal climate and the fog that keeps them cool during the summer months. And it goes without saying, if you come to see the redwoods, you're going to see the California coast too. The ocean and the redwoods go hand in hand. For years I've heard environmental activists cry out, what's going to happen when they cut the last old growth redwood? That will never happen. I've lived here all my life and have yet to see them all. Believe me, there's a lot. And every year thousands of acres more are being set aside and protected. And there's much more in private holdings you never hear about. So, if the cries were true at all, it would be impossible for me to show you all this. And it's just a sneak preview of the more premier groves that would be easy for a visitor to go see. Beginning in my home county of Mendocino, there's 20 state parks and reserves. Of them, only six feature any notable amounts of old growth redwood. However, the other parks do feature some large tracts of substantial size second growth. Navarro Redwood State Park is one, and I'll be showing it to you at the end of this summary. This redwood park features 800 acres of prime river flat old growth. It's located in Anderson Valley near the small town of Philo, approximately 20 miles inland from the coast. This park is easily accessible and a day use fee is charged to enter it. Handy Woods hosts excellent camping facilities, so if you're planning a visit to the coast, this could be a good place for a weekend stay. Montgomery Woods is 1,100 acres of old growth redwoods located in the remote mountains between Highway 101 and the Mendocino Coast. This grove is about 30 miles inland and, as a pretty firm rule, it becomes hotter and drier the farther from the coast you are. And so, you'll find the inland redwoods here are generally of less stature. Montgomery Woods is an exception to the rule. This primeval grove is tucked into a very steep and narrow canyon that opens up to a large open watershed in the hills above it. The seasonal rains are funneled through an alluvial flat in the canyon bottom and it keeps the grove cool and moist year-round. When you step back and look at it, Montgomery Woods is an oasis in the middle of a much drier environment. The average diameter of the redwood in this grove is over 10 feet and with the average height being well over 300. Over the years I've climbed a few trees in Montgomery Grove and from my observations I found the far majority of them have young tops and are growing quite vigorously. It's easy to see in this picture taken from the tops at the northwest end of the grove. The large flat top tree in the middle is 336 feet tall. For the lack of any significant amount of old or snag top trees, I conclude most of the redwoods in this grove had to come into existence at about the same time. Most redwood groves will be found to have a fair percent of old and dying trees in them, 
along with the usual succession of younger ones. Montgomery Woods is unique though because it hasn't followed all the rules. How it come to be what it is today probably isn't anything profound through the course of natural history. But whatever happened here surely developed into a most magnificent stand of redwoods. <laughs>